Plato State now, where persons suspected to be members of a terrorist group have been sighted in large numbers moving towards Langtang North Council area. The chairman of the local government area, Joshua Lava Nubanduma, disclosed this to journalists at a press conference in Jos, the Plato State capital. And TVC News Plato correspondent Funam Joshua reports. The security situation in Plato State does not appear to be improving. In spite of the curfew in council areas that have been the hotbed of violence in the past few days, residents still live in a state of uncertainty, appear to be in danger, and all residents of Plato are advised to be vigilant and take the issue of security with every seriousness. Joshua Laben Ubandoma is the chairman of Langtan North Council area. He is disturbed by the movement of a large group of armed men suspected to be members of a terrorist group through the bushy area of Wase community, proceeding towards Langtan North. Although their mission for now is not known, the council chairman believes the intruders are planning to attack locals in the area. This is further but traced by a series of messages circulating that Langtan and other communities are going to be invaded anytime soon. Mr. Abonduma tells journalists that the heads of security agencies in the area have also confirmed that they have intelligence reports of the presence of the suspected attackers within the Langtan North communities. The council chairman wants all relevant security authorities to swing into action by deploying security operatives to safeguard the lives of locals in the area before the situation escalates. Uh, six, no, 4 p.m. yesterday, we had an influx of uh, terrorists who were seen spotted towards along the southern zone uh, coming to attack the Tarok nation in particular Lathang North and South and they are going to come through Wase. Uh, immediately I get in touch with the FOB commander uh, representing Lantang which is the Lieutenant Colonel uh, Azi and I reported to him he confirmed to me that yes there is a report like that and there are uh, 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 they, they are report. They are aware of the intelligence report. Now, if the security agency are telling us yes, there is the impending attack, and they are aware of it, what are they going? What are they doing about it? Now, our people are not having it easy. We are having sleepless night. Now, we are calling on the security agency to please step up their game and come to the rescue of the people. We are armless civilians. We've submitted our weapons. We are calling on the military to join hand with us, the Tarok Nation, to help chase those terrorists because I cannot call them bandits, I cannot call them haters, but all I know they are terrorists. Terrorists have invaded this country that we must call them terrorists because they are worse than terrorists. Edinen Usoro is a security expert. He tells us what the state government must do to end the incessant attacks in the state. For you to stop the killings, it's as simple as ABC. It is not ghosts that are killing people. These are humans. With all the scary apparatus at the disposal of government, why can't you hunt for such people? The most important thing is, go after these people. Go after these people. Hunt them down. And that ends it. So what do you need to do? Go after that person. If you go after that person, they will not feel like the brutal attack. Then why does it keep happening? Because the perpetrators have not been brought to book. Mark like what I've said. If the perpetrators are brought to book, they will not feel like the brutal attacks. And government needs to show the political will to do this. Residents of the state are called upon to be watchful and to report to relevant authorities any suspicious movement within their areas. Joshua. TVC News, Joss.